Hey, it's Carlos. One of the most confusing behaviors you're ever going to experience from a man is when he runs away from your love. It is one of the most common questions I get from women about relationships. And every single woman has had a guy that's grown cold and distant from her. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Today, we're going to go into why men run away from commitment. Yeah, hang on. This one's going to get bumpy. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from DatingFire.com and DatingAdviceGuru.com. Welcome back to the Dating and Relationship Secrets you need to know. The first thing we have to address here is that no one really runs away from love. Yeah, you might think that all you're doing is radiating love to this guy, but that's not what he's actually running from. Nobody really runs from that. He's running from his own inner fears. Now these fears are what he thinks are going to happen if things keep going the way they are. It doesn't mean they're actually going to go that way, but that's what he believes. You see, a man is rarely looking at your relationship in terms of it being committed or not committed. You might think that way. You're always looking at, are we in a committed relationship or not? But that's not how he's looking at it. Men are looking at the relationship in terms of just a few simple criteria. Number one, am I having fun? His first and most important indicator of whether he wants to keep dating a woman is whether or not she's fun to be with. Now again, this seems like the most obvious thing in the world, but strangely enough, a lot of women don't date fun men. I mean, let's be honest here. She's dating a man that maybe she thinks will be, she'll be able to accomplish her relationship goals with, but she may not be picking a guy that's genuinely fun. That goal is a long-term relationship for you. That's what your goal is, possibly leading to marriage, kids, family, a future. Not all women are focused on this, mind you, but many are. And in fact, I would go so far as to say most. Otherwise, what's the commitment for? Why would you need a commitment? Well, there's another important criteria that a guy is looking at in relationships. The next criteria is, are you really in love with him? Or are you in love with the idea of a committed relationship? You see, almost every single man has had the experience of a relationship with a woman who didn't seem to really care so much about who he was, only if he was going to make a commitment and provide for her. Now this may not be you, of course, but you will be looked at in relationship to that because every guy's had that experience. So again, as I was saying, no one runs from love if that's what they're actually getting. If they're getting real love, we're not running from that. Unfortunately, we have ways of defining what we are giving as love even when it really isn't love. Take a good look at what you give to him and ask yourself honestly, if I were him, would I interpret these actions as being done purely from love? and you might surprise yourself. So let's talk about the really important reasons that men do run away from a relationship. Why would a guy run from a perfectly good relationship? Well, the truth is that the, he's not really running from the relationship. Not really, anyways. What is he running from? He's running from a bad decision. And unfortunately, in today's social climate, he is more likely to run into that than ever before. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, first of all fast food dating. This is the first reason that a guy would run from a relationship. Let's say, let's say you're a guy. Work with me here. Just imagine, okay? You're in a relationship or you're starting a relationship and you notice a few things that aren't what you expect. There are things that just don't align with what you see in your future and you're seeing more of these things. Maybe a few bad habits in your girlfriend or there are a few things you see that are familiar that you had in previous girlfriends that didn't work out, right? You're seeing a pattern evolve here. But your intuition is telling you that there is something here that you need to watch out for. Lo and behold, you have a smartphone. This wonderful device now lets you connect with millions of women in hyperseconds, right? Remember, you're still the guy looking at this relationship and thinking, hmm, you can instantly trade up and jump out of whatever you're in to try out somebody new. You can meet them that evening if you like. Call it fast food dating, and everybody on the planet has access to this. Well, women have the same problem, right? It's easier to trade up or trade over to someone new than it is to figure out why something isn't working where you're at right now, and it may take years before you realize that it doesn't get solved by jumping to a new person. But then again, you get to experience all that wonderful, delicious, new love, that lusty stuff all over again. Why wouldn't you do it? You see the dilemma, right? With online dating and dating apps and all this quick and easy access to other people, you don't have to work very hard to find someone, which also means that it may be a little too easy at times to trade up or get out of the relationship you're in. Here's another reason that a guy would run away from a perfectly good relationship. It's just going a little too fast. 
In one of my recent videos, I talked about how women can be, well, they can very often sabotage a relationship. You might have gotten ahead of yourself or started planning a future for it with him before it was time. Sure, things are going great, but you can't plan things too quickly. He's going to sense this urge of yours to move quickly and it's going to freak him out. Everything at the start of a relationship is awesome after all. And when a guy finds a woman is interested in him and will sleep with him, he's going to go along with the for he's going to go along for the ride, okay? He's not capable of holding off and delaying things like that like you are. And the unfortunate side effect is that he will also go just as fast as you're going. And that's going to confuse you. you. You will be confused by it and you'll think that he's feeling exactly the same way that you feel. The truth is, you're both rushing it. You are much more likely to keep a guy committed in your relationship and with you if you take your time building the relationship from the start. Take your time with the communication, take your time with the affection, take your time with the intimate contact, important, take your time bringing your lives together. This is what really pays off in the long run. Hey, are you wondering if this guy is the right guy for you right now? How do you know if you two are even compatible? It's always possible he's seeing something that you're not or the other way around. Go find out if you're really compatible with him right now. Go take the quiz at datingfire.com forward slash compatible. Go check it out. All right, the next reason a guy would run from a perfectly good relationship is because he didn't really work for it. He didn't put in the blood, the sweat, and the tears necessary to make it work. Now, maybe it sounds like I'm beating a dead horse here, but this is a very important principle of human psychology. Humans do not want something that comes too easily. We obey what is known as the scarcity principle. Whatever appears to be hardest to get is what we value. Think about things that you perceive as being hard to get. Maybe there's a pair of shoes that's really hard for you to find, or your favorite dessert at the store is out of stock. You might notice that this just makes you want it all that much more. You see, science has proven that men want something the more they have to work for it because we know that this means we will feel more reward when we actually do. One of the most fundamental and powerful principles of male psychology is that a man doesn't want what he can easily get. He doesn't want what he can easily get. Yes, this speaks directly to your choice to sleep with him the very first night that you met him or any kind of intimate sexual contact on the first night. Just ask yourself, how many relationships of mine have worked out and started because they started out with me compromising my boundaries as a woman? <laughs> yeah, you might be surprised at your answer there, right? Be a little bit more difficult for him to get. Make him work to win you over. This is the best advice I can ever give you, and you're going to hear it quite a lot from me in these videos. This is what I teach in my programs. Why else wouldn't a man stay in a committed relationship with you? Well, the next reason is he's not getting his needs met. This is also the reason that most men would cheat on a woman if that happens. Funny enough, that's also the same reason that women cheat on men. We are all inherently selfish creatures, and when it comes to relationships, we know that we need to get what we need to get. For a man, in order for him to invest in a relationship, he has to see that the relationship is also giving him what he needs. What are the things he needs in a relationship? Well, I've done other videos on this, but he needs to feel like he's protecting you. He needs to feel like uh, you know, he needs to have regular physical intimacy. He needs to feel appreciated and valued. He needs to feel respected. Now, of course, there are many other things, but those are just some of the important ones on the top that he will look at most closely when it comes to decide whether he's going to commit to you or not. The next reason he would run from a commitment would be that he doesn't want a serious relationship. In my Connection Code and my Understanding Man programs, I explain clearly the different phases of a man's life. You need to know these. It's important. Most women don't realize this, but a man goes through very important phases of his life where his focus and his priority will be different. For example, what phase do you think a man is in between the ages of 18 and 24? Yeah, that's right. Same as you. He's out to have fun and that's it. And if for some reason you're looking for a commitment from him at this age, you're going to be disappointed. Now, the unfortunate thing is that many men are waiting longer and longer to get married or commit. And one reason is he doesn't have to hurry into it. He can wait. He can get many of his needs met in short-term, non-committed relationships. He knows that he has lots of women that are desperate to connect online. Women everywhere are compromising their boundaries just to make men happy so they can pull them into a commitment. But they're failing, and they are failing miserably. If you're wondering if you have any hope, stick with me. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what you need to do next. There is hope. 
You see, men can be focused on different things at different times. He may be focused on his career at the moment, or maybe going back to school. And you have to know how to make yourself available in the right ways in order for him to take you along for that ride. Again, I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Another reason he may run from a perfectly good relationship is that he was hurt in a past relationship. Now, this reason can go in both directions, but just because he's gun shy, that doesn't mean he wouldn't gladly jump into a good relationship with somebody that he felt was not going to do that to him again, he'd be happy to. Unfortunately, men know, we know that we can use trust issues as an excuse with almost any woman. And you know what happens? Not only will it not scare you off, you're going to start working 10 times as hard to overcome his trust issues. He can tell her that he isn't interested in a, he's not interested in a committed relationship. He can tell her that he was hurt before and she will double down on all of her efforts to make him commit. For one, this teaches him that you are probably self-sacrificing to the extreme. You're compromising your needs just to not lose him. And for another, it also appears like you didn't even hear him because he told you exactly what he feels right now and you ignored him. If a man ever gives you this reason, back off in the relationship instantly. That's right. Do that. And guess what he's going to probably do? That's right. He will probably double down on trying to win you back. Don't immediately assume that you can prove to him that you're different. Instead, let him prove to you that he's different, that he can overcome his own limitations and his own issues. It's not your job to heal him. Remember that. Another reason he may have just gotten out of another long-term relationship. Look, most guys need to develop an appetite to go back into another long-term relationship again. Truth be told, women do too, but they tend to overlook this and then jump right back in as fast as possible. If he's fresh out of another relationship, you should also be wary because he could be on the rebound. It takes men a lot longer to process their feelings and especially those feelings from a previous relationship that he's ended. Hey, if you like these tips, hit subscribe, get those notifications turned on, and you can get these videos every single week and know when they come out fresh, hot off the press. Another reason he isn't interested in a committed relationship is he's a player. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but this is probably not the reason. I know, I just listed it as a reason, but it's actually probably not. Women tend to classify men who don't make commitments as being players. That's not accurate. It's convenient, but it's not accurate. Only about 5% of men, and I think a whole lot less, that's about one in 20 of all men fit into this category. If you're finding that more than 5% of your boyfriends or men that you meet are players, that probably says something more about how you're attracting them or where you're finding them. Again, these guys simply aren't that common. And if you detect that you have a player, a guy that does want to just play the field, bang as many women as he can, it's up to you to simply walk away. And if you can't walk away, then it's not really his problem, especially if you let him get away with it or try to appear like you don't want a relationship when you actually do. Okay. Another reason he's going to avoid any kind of commitment is that he's simply going through something difficult, whether that's a previous relationship that he just got out of, financial difficulties, problems with his family, personal problems, whatever it may be. He's simply not available to you right now. He may have some difficulties in his life and men prefer to face their difficulties by facing them alone. Oh yes, I know, you would want to have offered to help him through his problems. Women tend to martyr themselves and really put themselves out this way and don't get me wrong. It's awesome that you do that. But self-sacrifice like this is actually going to backfire on you. No woman should settle for a man who is currently in a damaged state. There are simply far too many single guys out there for you to get hung up on one. Okay. Literally billions of men on this planet and you're only focusing on this one. To feel so scarce that you must cling to the first guy that would date you more than two times in a row. Well, if this is how you feel, then it's not really the man that's the problem. There may be a serious issue going on under the hood with respect to your self-respect. But before I get into that, let me give you another important lesson and reason here. Another reason a man avoids commitment is that he's just plain afraid of commitment. Yeah, there are some guys who are not emotionally available to you. And the reason why should not be what you're focused on. You're too clued in on that like you can overcome it. Because chances are you blew right past the decision of whether or not you should even get involved with this guy. You rush straight into trying to convince him that you're the magical woman who's going to solve all of his problems. There are simply some guys that are not emotionally mature enough to handle a committed relationship. At least not right now. But insist on putting themselves out in the dating world nonetheless. And these guys don't realize that most of the women that they meet are going to be intrigued and they're going to get addicted to him simply because he's not available. Now, of course, this isn't what you should be looking for. What you need to look for is his history. 
ask questions. Find out as soon as you possibly can about his past relationships. This is gonna tell you within a couple of days whether or not you should even continue meeting with this guy and dating him. Before you invest your heart in a man, make sure he has an available heart to give back to you. Look again, the honest truth is that almost every single guy on the face of planet Earth would gladly commit to a relationship if it gave him what he was really looking for. But again, most women don't seriously understand what men are looking for. She doesn't know why he suddenly doesn't see her as being the one. She doesn't know how he could move on so quickly and easily. How do you get him to see you as the one? How do you get him to stick with it? The first thing you gotta know is how men think and what men really want in a relationship so that you can stop showing him the wrong things and start showing him the right things. He's ready to fall in love, but you need to help him through this. Don't trust the man to figure out how to fall in love with you. <laughs> Make it happen. And yet again, I see women who honestly believe that the man is going to figure this all out on his own. Look, he's clueless. He's going to he's not going to accidentally fall in love with you. Okay? He's not going to accidentally make you happy. He's going to accidentally make a commitment to you? No. Okay? Let me assure you that love is rarely an accident. It's where preparedness meets opportunity and chemistry. And if you don't know how to create that opportunity by getting to know men, you're probably not going to get the man you want. Not only that, but he will probably actively keep you at arm's distance. So let's change that starting today. Go here right now, datingfire.com forward slash obsession. That's datingfire.com forward slash obsession. For a limited time, I'm including my Understanding Man program with the Passion Phrases program. You can get both of them right now for the same price. You're gonna learn not only what to say to him so that he sees you as the one, but you're also gonna understand what men are thinking and you're never gonna be surprised by him again. And you're gonna get the man you really want. Hey, if you're new here, or even if you're not, do the big three. Like and subscribe, turn that on and get this stuff every week. Turn on the notifications, click that bell icon so you get notified when I release more incredible videos like this coming soon. And if you're already subscribed, share it. Share it with somebody you know. Spread this word with every woman you know so that you can give them the gift of getting them the success they deserve. And number three, make sure you comment below. Do you agree with the tips? Is there another video you want? Do you disagree? Leave me a comment below. I do read them and I try to comment back as much as I can. Hey, don't forget to wait a few seconds. I'm going to put another recommended video here in the corner. And as always, this is Carlos Cavallo. Live and love with passion.